Now Barry, how about sharing your big vision with us? My big vision? Well, my big vision for, for me is to really be an example of changing how one person can help support the consciousness shift that's on this planet at the moment. And I believe that the only way I can do that is by first of all me making my own personal individual shift yes. and shifting my own abundance on all areas, whether that's money, spirituality, health, relationships. So I work through that process myself first and in doing that I'm then able to support others through things like conversations to help support other people as well. Because there is a big consciousness shift at the moment. We're in the midst of it and I, I get the sense it's, it's going to explode. More and more people, through people such as yourself, are going to have the opportunity to learn and change and shift. Yeah, uh, look, people often talk about you know what's going to happen next year in 2012 and I think you're right, I think it's already happening and, and people are already feeling that things aren't quite the same as they used to be. And so people are struggling to find out what's out there and there's lots of programs and there's some wonderful programs out there and there's also programs that people are enticed to do that doesn't actually fit with them. And so I always suggest to people that they sit quietly and just see whether, you know, whether it's my program or anyone else's program, does this feel right for you? And then when that happens, people seem to seem to get to go to exactly where they're meant to go to. And that can mean stepping outside the square. That's a little safety box. Certainly. And, and one of the things I've always encouraged people to do is about extending their comfort zone. So I'm not one for pushing people outside their comfort zone because I have a tendency that we don't learn when we go outside our own comfort zones. But if we can extend ours further and further, we'll actually end up further out than what we thought if we just try to jump out to start with. I like that idea. Gentle, yeah. gentle encouragement and, and obviously you're offering a lot of support whilst you're encouraging people to come along and experience your workshop. Certainly, and the support's not just during the workshop. You know, this is a lifelong process, so the support will definitely be there during the workshop. I also believe in setting up a process for support both by myself and the other participants because you are going to end up with a room full of experts by the end of the course. Wonderful. And so, not only are you going to extend yourself, you have the opportunity of meeting and making new friendships. One, look, that is probably the best thing that I find travelling around the world are the people that I meet. And everyone that turns up there seems to want to get together. And so one of the things that I always organise is in weeks, within weeks of every workshop of having people come back together and just simply not only share and, and connect with each other, but it's also a good one for those people who, what's the part that I missed out? You know, I wasn't quite with it for that 10 seconds of, you know, oh, that's how I do that. Because this is also a really a skills-based workshop that you will walk, walk away with muscle testing skills that you can use in your everyday life with your family, with yourself, with your friends. Now this um, getting together and, and keeping in contact, I know that you do a lot of Skyping. Is that one way that you yeah. keep in touch with people? Certainly. Look, there is Skype is going to be available. Very soon there's going to be other platforms that we can get in touch with each other. And, and the internet is just so open at the moment for new possibilities. It's just mm -hmm. quite remarkable. So we don't have to be in the same place as you to remain in contact. No, look, it's one of the reasons why I've been using Skype now for over 10 years and I've been using it for that reason, that uh, I'm travelling around the world and I really want people to have the opportunity to get in touch, certainly with me and certainly the entire Conversations team.